Welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss this particular question in this video. Write a program to numerically integrate a given function using trapezoidal rule with the tabulated values of function at equal intervals available. Assume the tabulated values of function at equal intervals available. Okay. So this is the trapezoidal rule. Before uh, going to the coding, we need to understand the trapezoidal rule. And this trapezoidal rule is actually used for uh, calculating the approximate integral value of the given function. The basic idea in trapezoidal rule is to assume the region under the graph of the given function to be trapezoidal and calculate its area. So first we want to draw the graph of the given function and consider the area under this graph and form an or approximate a trapezoidal region under this graph of the given function okay then our task is to find the area of the trapezoid which will approximately uh, equal to the integral value of the given function okay this is the working principle of this trapezoidal rule okay it generate an approximate integral value only we can't ensure that it always generate the exact integral value, but it generate only approximate integral value in usual case. So this is the integration form integral a to b f of x dx means a is the lower limit, b is the upper limit and f of x is the given function. So here we want this graphical represent of this function f of x and consider the area under this region and assume a trapezoidal structure here. And find the area of that trapezoid it will generate or it will equate uh, or it will match with the integral value of this function it will uh, approximately match with the integral value of this function okay so here a is the lower limit b is the upper limit this b minus a gives the range so here we need for this trapezoidal rule a particular um, parameter that is h h can be calculated using b minus a by n what is this n n is the total number of divisions present in this trapezoidal region if number of divisions are uh, more then it generate more accurate integral value that is the principle if we have the trapezoidal region under this graph then we can divide this region into number of subdivisions with equal base length and the base length is h okay subdivide the end trapezoid and generate smaller trapezoids each with the same base value h so if the number of subdivisions increases then it generate more accurate integral value okay so in order to find this h how can we find this h this is the uh, notation or formula for finding the value of h b minus a by total number of division so this is the given tabular value what are the this x x0 x1 x2 what is this x0 x1 x2 x3 means all these indicate different um, integral points so a x0 means a itself then x1 means a plus h a plus h is actually this one integral point integration point a plus 2h this one integration point a plus 3h this one integration and so on and corresponding to this here we have y0 y1 y2 y3 up to yn what does this y0 y1 means this y0 actually uh, y actually means the given function f of x how can we get the y0 substitute this x0 value in our given function and get the y0 value similarly substitute this x1 value to our given function and generate y1 and so on so this is the needed tabular value in order to calculate this trapezoidal rule so this is the uh, equation for calculating the trapezoidal rule h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 y2 y3 up to yn minus 1 that's the meaning perform first term and last term addition y0 plus yn plus 2 into intermediate term sum y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus etc yn minus 1 okay then after calculating these such sum value perform a multiplication with h by 2 so this is the equation for trapezoidal rule 
okay now we can go for programming part so uh, this is not the program so i am going to consider this particular function uh, 1 by 1 plus x square okay so i am going to use this function for integration here okay so, sorry this function this program is for uh, integrating this given function 1 by 1 plus x square okay so here we have the function in order to calculate the function value for different uh, integration points that is for in order to calculate different y values we are uh, we define a function that is func with a value that value may be x0 x1 x2 x3 etc so using this it uh, here it calculate the function 1 by 1 plus x square so this is the program for calculating the integral of 1 by 1 plus x square so after calculating the uh, some uh, function value it returns the value to the called location so inside the main what are the input we needed we need the lower limit which is stored in uh, plotting point type value a upper limit in b and total number of subdivisions which is in n so what are the input needed lower limit value upper limit value and number of subdivisions and also we need the function okay so after reading all this we can calculate the h value how can we calculate h value h can be calculated as b minus a by n so h equal to is a plotting point value here we use here we prefer the floating or double type values because we need the fractional part also in order to get more accurate result that is why all declared here as float h equal to b minus a divided by n this is the h value the base value okay now we can uh, calculate this part y0 plus yn then calculate these sum using a loop and multiply with 2 then after this add with the this particular sum value and then multiply by h by 2 how can we perform uh, these in our program so first calculate s equal to function of a plus function of b what is this this means y0 plus yn how can we calculate y0 apply the x0 value in function similarly xn value in function so that is why function of a plus function of b because a and b indicate the uh, uh, lower and upper limit so after this sum value it is stored in a variable s now we can calculate the intermediate sum using this formula from where we start the intermediate summation starting from this point to up to this point from a plus 1 point a plus h to b minus h point up to this we need to sum the in intermediate value okay so this is uh, the formula i from 1 to i less than n total 1 to n minus 1 times perform this operation because here we have total n subdivision from 1 to n minus 1 increment by 1 and repeat n total n minus 1 times these steps what happened add 2 into function of a plus x what is this x x means x equal to a plus h a plus h means a plus h the next integration point a plus h indicate next integration point so we need to calculate f of a plus h okay that is why this function function of a plus x x means the next integration point which is obtained by adding h with the current integral current point a point at the next point obtained by adding a plus 2h that means current x is added with an extra h that is current x is added with an extra h so it generate the next integration point in order to get this integration point add the current integration point with the base value h in order to get this particular integration point what we want to do a current the integration point is added with the base value h so that is why here the step like this 
x is added with x plus h. Initially, x is initialized with base lower point plus h. So, it now pointing to this particular integration point. Okay. So, we can perform function of a plus x. Okay. Then we can multiply the, uh, with 2 and add this value with the sum value. Sum value is actually function of a plus function of b. Right. So, after completing all this summation, we can perform this particular operation s into h by 2. But that means this is this one operation h by 2 into all these summation. All these sum get inside the loop. So, after exiting the loop, we can perform h by 2 operation. h by 2. So, finally, we can just display the result. Okay, so this is the simple program for calculating the approximated integral value for a given function. Here we need only a function in order to calculate the function value for a given integral point, integration point. Okay, so what are the input needed? The lower limit, upper limit and number of divisions. Okay, using this we can uh, directly calculate the base value that is the h value and we can also calculate the upper function value plus lower function value and in this loop we can calculate the intermediate uh, sum and is added with this particular um, sum value and after that we can uh, after exiting the loop we can perform a multiplication with h by 2 and finally display the result. Now we can execute this program sorry okay we can uh, put the value lower limit as 0, upper limit as 1 with number of subdivision 6. Okay. So, this is the value approximated integrated value generated by using this trapezoidal rule. We can directly calculate the integral form of this integral value of this uh, one function 1 by 1 plus x square and we can compare the result. Okay, so this is the simple uh, program for calculating the approximated integral value using trapezoidal method. So, study well. Okay, thank you.